to record. Okay, so then some of the the themes involved, like we said, will be both like um, going through some linear um, courses that we've identified, and then the Crapstone project model, and then you have industry mentor, you have project supervisors. So we have a lot of mentors that applied that we'll be working with. Um, however, it's not all of them that would be part, um, assigned to a team within this first course. So we might have just two teams with piloting with two teams within this first um, project. So we just have one of previous mentor who have worked with us and one new mentor who adds to that team that would be like a support mentor so that you get to used to our own system of like guidance and mentorship. Then the other mentors, um, we really wanted you to be part of this and see this, but as well, um, this, you are in our community so that when opportunities like this for the next cohort comes in, it's easier to tap into it and um, call on you to join us to work with the team. So some of the areas that you might be asked to do work on might be business strategy, marketing research, product feasibility, any kind of thing that has to do with like um, supply chain, human resource, industry analysis, um, and it's, it's a whole lot of range. So it's up to the employer to decide where they want you to come on board. Then, um, we have criteria. So some of our corporate organizations are running annual um, revenue from 100K to $5 million. We have one currently, especially in Leeds Microcredit, who is making like $5 million to $10 million annually. So these are not small guys. Um, they are already scaling and you, you hear from them. I don't want to, <laughs> to dive so much. And we also had criteria for fellows. Um, yeah. So our project will run from now till, so we, I indicated um, May 1st as final presentation, but I think it's going to be April, the last day of April. So this will be updated. So the project will run between now and till end of, end of April, two months. And some of you might finish before then, no worries. When you finish before then, you just prepare for your final presentation. Some of you might not finish before then. So no worries, prepare for your final presentation and then you can wrap up afterwards. Um, so this is what we hope to have at the end of the program, that we have four projects completed, 400 hours of professional consultation. This is like providing course professional consultation. And we are going to measure our time in morning. Um, so measure it, we have a, a, a measuring system where we'd say, we could say the value of what we will provide based on this project could be up to 200 kilowatts of um, uh, so this is the team. Um, I, myself, Cynthia Menes, CEO, and then we have David who has been communicating with you all, uh, communication and digital media lead. And it is in Beniza who's going to be the project supervisor to so be, um, any, be the go-to person for the, for the new fellows being on their tax, being on their head to make sure that they complete most of their tasks, or if they have challenges and relaying that as well with the mentors. So Inspire Africa um, um, is, an, is a non-profit organization. And for the past, so since early January 2017, we've been delivering entrepreneurial leadership, um, education, digital skills, soft skills training to youth um, across Africa, more than 22 countries right now. Um, and also like supporting young people in terms of developing their business ideas, um, improving on what they already have, scaling their impact and um, strengthening the skills within them to help them unleash their full potential. Um, so we've done a lot with more than 4,000 youths now, more than, it's not just 3,000. And um, last year we did Ignite Innovation Lab Digital Transformation that engaged more than 300 youths across Africa where they co-created solutions by working in teams like this and um, coming up with solutions and got to pitch it to stakeholders across different industries. Then previously, we've also done several projects which were sponsored by the US Embassy. Um, so I'm excited. I'm also a US Embassy Exchange alumni and part and a fellow of so many programs, including the Global Good Fund, Unilever, um, and so many others. Mandela Washington Fellowship as well. Um, so yeah, that's been said. This is us. You can.
please make sure you connect with us on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, just to keep updated with some of our work. And we also want to hear from you. Um, yes. So thank you. And I'm going to right now, I think we are almost, we should have one of our, let me just quickly check. We're supposed to have one of our partner coming soon. Okay, so at, while we wait for that, I might just give a um, voice to him. I wait for that. Um, um, based on this, do anyone have something to say? Any questions to ask? Any question at all? nobody okay and okay so if we do not have any question i think i might just so um why we're waiting for one of our partners who is scheduled for 145 to come in which is already 147 um i will just continue read some of the logistics that you need to know um let me see one second So I will just introduce some of them first. So based on this, we are expecting Nate's microcredit. They'll get to introduce themselves. Their CEO is Omoni. Um, it's a microfinance um, institution, I think providing microcredit loans to um, thousands of small um, retail farm, not retail farmers, retail um, business, but I think mostly women in the north. They are in Kaduna and Abuja. Um, so yes, this that's neat microcredit. Then we have Afrimatch. Afrimatch is in Ibadan. Um, also providing like they have a technology platform for online farmers and they distribute all sorts of agricultural products to farmers in in Ibadan. Then we have Shango Payments, which is here in Lagos, Nigeria. Um, it's a financial services. This is like where you, they have an app that allows you make all your payments, like either it's um, DSTV payment, um, um, any kind of payment you need to do, recharges and all those things. The app allows you to provide that. You can also top up credits with their services. So it's a wonderful um, company. Then we have Shaka, shaka.ng. Shaka won't be joining us today, but the team would work with them directly. So they are more like, this is Shaka, they are more like a um, global trade organization. Like they allow you trade with your, with just an app, like you can trade with companies, with Netflix, with GT, so many organizations they've been invested in, both by even Fluta Wave have invested in them. Um, yeah, so that's the CEO, Tosin, very good close friend of mine. And um, they've been invested by so many organizations. It's a finance company. Um, yeah. So these are the kind of organizations you are likely going to be working with. Um, the honest thing is that we would have, I think we're going to have, um, like, because we have a small team, I think three people per team for this badge. We, and the projects we, we are give, they are, they are giving you might not be so much within the two, so the two more timeline, you might likely work with two organizations, your team will be assigned to two organizations. Um, so I think that's I think, uh, I think uh, John has a question. He okay. just said in the chat. Oh, okay. Let me check that out. Okay, yeah, go ahead, John, go ahead. John, I thought you said you have a question. Can you go ahead and ask your question, please? Oh, 
Or maybe you can just type in the chat then we can respond to her. Okay, so any any other person, do any other person have? Hello. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, a little question here. Um, apart from the, the skills, um, we are going to gain through this program. What other benefits do we stand for? Do you stand for or you would gain? Uh, you gain, sorry, you would Oh, okay. Gain. Okay, so like I said earlier, um, so one, so this is an opportunity to, so when I said the, some of the challenges we found out was one, like I said, the skills, number two, connection, direct connection to employers, and the sense that like, it's, it's an opportunity okay. to network you understand to network and it's an opportunity to get exposure to some of these industries and how they do it and how you could apply it to yours and also it's an opportunity for so for those also who would want to who have intentions to work with um organizations like this in future or later you could actually intern you could intern or it could be an opportunity that you might have something to do with them later on a partnership or any form of thing later on. So it depends on how you utilize it, honestly. It depends on how you utilize it. But for now, we'll just stick with like the project first, project implementation. So I'm letting Omoni, Omoni is joining us now. Um, okay, um, just like um, the last uh, project that you you showcase. Hi, that was last year. Uh, Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, welcome. You're welcome. I'm extremely sorry for coming in so late. I'm very, yeah. very sorry. No problem. Um, no, um, so can we answer your question to us like later on towards the end so that we just not take their time? So, um, Amoni, we just we've kicked up already, we have um, a couple of them, yeah. So, like I said earlier, it's just for you to um, introduce your company with us to us, the project, and then take any questions. So um, Omoni is the CEO of um, NEAT, NEAT Microcredit Institution. So I would allow him, give him the floor right now. We will have like 10 minutes with him. Um, we just talk about himself, his organization, and then um, you'll get a chance to ask any question you have at the end of it. All right, good afternoon. Like uh, Cynthia said, my name is Omoni Salami. I'm the CEO of <laughs> Microcredit. So basically, what we do at NIST Microcredit is to fill in a very important gap of uh, funding uh, the, uh, the informal sector of the economy, most especially in Northern Nigeria. We, have un we understand that even the microfinance bank don't focus on these very poor people. Most of the time, they still give their loans to the to the um, uh, working class. So what we have been able to do is to focus basically on the, the lowest, the poorest of the poor. So we give them loan ranging from 10,000 Naira to 50,000 Naira. So we started about three years ago. We started with just five of them. Today we have about 7,300 of them. And uh, we, dis we started with a loan, total loan disbursement of 250,000. And today we've disbursed over 300 million Naira in a portfolio. Current wow. portfolio. Yeah, our current portfolio is over uh, 300 million. And uh, we have an uh, operation in six places, and uh, we have uh, 64 staffs on our payroll today. So, basically, that's what we do now. Why um, uh, we came here is that uh, we have been everywhere we go, everybody let us believe that the next thing we have to focus on is technology. Now, I don't see how to apply technology to funding these women. Most of these women are, are in the local area and the poor communities. Some of them, are, most of them are not, uh, they are illiterate. Most of them does not even have access to power su supply. Most of them does not have Android phone. They have normal phone. Now, we understand that truly, 
technology is the way to go, but we have not been able to figure out how to still reach this very poor effectively using technology. So that's the part we have been we have been playing on different ideas. But that's the part since you guys are in the university, you guys are young people that are more tech savvy than some of us. Do we feel that you might be able to look into the problem for us and see how you can uh, advise us on how to get these poor streets women that sell on the street corners using technology so that we don't have to spend so much money in employing so much staff and building brick and armor, uh, brick and mortars to reach them. I think I should stop here so that uh, I, I know I've wasted a lot of time before, so I should just no, 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 we, we really enjoy it. Um, I, I was just I like to correct because, um, and I forgot to mention, like we had to, to first of all, post on the undergraduate people. So these are all graduates, like some of them have some form of experience. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, we, we decided to pilot now with just like most graduates. Oh, yeah. okay. okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but that's fantastic. Say something. Can I ask him a question? Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> All right, um, that was very interesting. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> my area, <clears throat> that, of, that of that your own, just um, it's a little bit different. You are into microcredit. I'm also working yeah. into microcredit. I'm just trying to see whether we'll be able to bring one some more microfinance than to my people here because uh, a lot of people here are looking for a way to get uh, small loans for their business and that Which is one that? of the reason why i joined the, this is a five home state in a okay. Karoo government in a five home state okay. yeah so but now i am operating the mobile banking agent i am doing that using POAs to do a little for them, give them a little money for loan, just a what, but I want to bring that to the bigger stuff, a little bigger stuff. So I don't know how I would do that in terms of uh, resources, funding, and uh, also equipment. And what kind of equipment can I go into? And what are those things that I would know for me to do that? I'm sorry, Nomso. So your question is meant to be focused on like um, more about like the project, the Omanis project. So like I said, any other thing that has to do with what you're currently doing would be during implement. So during when you're mapping out stuff in terms of um, okay. um, trying to, so the, the main focus should be about the partner, not about yourself, no? in the sense that then you can, oh, introduce, okay. you can introduce some things that you're already doing and see if it's something that the partner will want to scale to. You understand? Okay. Yes. So, okay. so I think I would like you to ask questions around, okay, so like you said, technology, and then I was happy to hear when you were saying you're already using some form of, um, what do you call it? POS. POS. Uh, kind points of, of service. Yeah. So this might not be something you want to propose during your, the course of like, um, you might, I think maybe your question should be around asking him if they have even tried something like that and how they think that if, doing something like that would play in their own organization. So that- Hello, I mean, I'm a yeah. little bit disconnected from the network. I can't hear you again. Okay, can you hear me? Can you yes. hear me now? So I think maybe yes, I, I want you. to ask about like how this can play a role in their own organization and how much open they are to it. So that like when you get to project implementation, you know oh, what the partner is looking out for or um, would be happy to accept. Subsequently, you can talk about like some form of partnership. Okay. Omani, do you yeah, have to clarify on that? To clarify on that, you know, we, are, we, are, we are doing that already, where we partner with ITEX, where they are supposed to go there to the agents. We deploy POS, so they are supposed to go to the agents to pay. But you know, the problem we have with that is that it's not automated. So they still have to go and meet the, the, the agent to give the agent their money, then the agent will transfer to us. So with that, we are, they have to be willing to make that movement. 
to, to get them to stand up from their shop and go and meet the POS man and transfer the money is difficult. So they prefer, now we still have to resort into our staff going there to tell them, or sometimes collect the money and transfer or take them there. So we are looking at, and uh, we've, uh, we've, we have an agreement with Asset, uh, Zenith Bank, where Zenith Bank allow us to open a wallet account for them. So we transfer to their wallet, so they can go and collect it using the ATM to the extent. But we are looking at something that is automated, whereby our disbursement, our collection can be automated in such a way that all we need to do, but you know, for a salary, it's easy, you can automate it. Maybe a salary enter, his account is debited, you are credited. They are not like that. So, you know, that, that's the issue we are having. How do we automate? Uh, now, we we'll may be able to automate the disbursement part of it, but the collection part of it is a problem. How do we automate our collection so that the human uh, uh, requirement will be reduced? Okay, thank you very much. I think that's very clear and um, a very inspiring thing to work on. I have a comment on that, but I think Ayodeji wants comment. to ask a question. Ayodeji. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you, Cynthia. And thank you, Mr. Omoni. Um, I think what, you, what you're doing is great. I mean, starting with five people and now you have 7,300. That's yeah. growth. That's what we're calling growth. Um, thank you. I'm, I'm a technology entrepreneur and um, I'll be very willing to, you know, get into that discussion with you to see how some of that challenge can actually be, you know, automated and see how to, you know, the last mile, as you call it, you know, these people who are um, not included in financial services. There are a few ideas and it might also require uh, some collaboration with other people to make it, to make it work, you know, so, but I'm, I'm very happy to probably have a discussion when the project kicks off on some of the things that I know in the industry that you can apply. Okay, thank okay. you, that, 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 that's all, thank you. So IUDG is one of the mentors. So we have mentors and project supervisors that will be working with the team. So definitely they would be all collaborating together and then having more conversation with you, both interviews, they have to even speak with the people and so many other things that would come up along the way. Um, I think I need to take one last question uh, because our next partner is coming in right now. I saw someone oh. else's hand. Uh, who was that? I thought somebody raised the hand before. Or oh, is that all? Do we have any other question? Okay. So that's all for now. Thank you so much, Amoni. Um, next week, we would assigned we would like the team that will be assigned to work on your project would um, introduce themselves by monday or tuesday and then we can kick up from there so i think like it's it says so the project will just last within this march and april and the idea is for them to take that so this is the problem that are uh, this is like so money now is like the customer to us so we now have to think about Okay, his needs, not just what we need, what we think he needs. So his need is to automate his collection, payment collection system. And um, so how do we help him do that? And in terms of doing that, we are going to apply design thinking principles, which has to do with like even interviewing some of their customers to know like why don't they like going to agents or why, what methods do you think that are feasible for them? And at the same time, speak to the staff as well, who have been going out there to do the collection, to know what the experience is like. That way we'll be able to get a better insight on recommendations that we'll give or present at the end of the project. So um, Omani, they'll reach out to you. We might be providing update like once in a while. It's not like going to be every week, maybe in two weeks or one, three weeks, but like we'll ask that you also provide support in terms of some of the things that we we'll need to make sure they do their research properly. Thank you so much. No, no, um, no, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. OK, have a wonderful Bye. day. Take care. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So we have the next one, which is Afrimatch. Um, I think they are just coming in a little bit later.
Hello, hi, goodness. Hi, is trying to join. His network is down. Hi, goodness. Can you hear me? Hello, I can hear you. Good Hi, good afternoon. Good to have you on board. Um, I think IO2 is trying to join, but it's, it seems it's, it's still blame. Okay, yeah, yes, we have him here. Hi, IO. Okay, it's connecting on to audio. So why these people are talking, think about some of the projects that you might be interested in to work on. And then um, at the end of it, we'll talk more about how to pay you into uh, match you to this project. OK, so while we are waiting for IO, um, I think he's still trying to connect to the audio, due to network. Um, goodness, could you kick off the introduction? So maybe you just want to tell us a little bit more about AfriMatch and then um, the pro project go like what you would like them to work on specifically then um we would get to take questions as well all right thank you very much so um i have about two main slides that i think will help us here so i'm going to go my system but i'm going to open up my phone because i couldn't join my system like just because of the network i hope you can hear me yes go ahead all right so my name is Eshet Goodness. I'm the head of communications and PR department at Afrimash Company Limited. And um, okay, wow, the slide, one wow, slide is coming up. Um, I can share my screen, right? Yes, you can go ahead. Sorry for the delay. Okay. Um. And if it's not if it's not working, you can also feel free to just share. Um, you can just talk about it. Or do, do I send you the link? Okay, then yeah. Yeah, that would be good. All right, I'll start, but I'll share the link to the second part. It has to do more with the project. Okay. okay. Um, I send it to you on um, that email, right? Or send it to you on WhatsApp. You can just place it right here on. Okay, and okay, you can send. Okay, I can place it here. Yeah, I can place it for you. I think Ayo, hi Ayo. Can you hear us? I think he has been able to connect. Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay, go ahead, goodness. I haven't seen it here. I think I is having network issues. I just shared the first screen. So, um, can you see? Yes, I can. I'll say that. Right. Drink off again. You can just send it to me. Let me try it. So then you just go ahead and speak. Why? Yeah. So that because of time. Okay, yeah. So I'll stop.
So yeah, Afrimash, I'll speak on Afrimash while we try to open that. So Afrimash, um, we're an e-commerce company and basically what we do is um, try to make agriculture convenient for everyone. And uh, we have a goal of actually um, ensuring that there is easy access to food for everyone and at every time. Sorry, this slide is the second part. I'm just doing the introduction to Afrimash. So we're going to this later on. So um, our vision so far has been to be valuable, sustainable, and be a profitable organization that provides premium um, value, values to customers. And we do this through our talented workforce and um, just to ensure that our customers are satisfied. So um, why do we exist majorly? A summary of the reasons why we exist is because we have about 500 million um, small older farmers in the world, including Nigeria, and they face major challenges such as um, face major challenges such as access to um, um, access to farm inputs like farm qualities they need to use to farm. They have um, challenges that have to do with low productivity. They have also some major challenges that have to do with access to the markets and the likes. So, and if these challenges continue, we believe that in the long run, in years to come, we would have some major issue with um, food demand and supply. So there will be a, a kind of rise in, in demand for food and supply will be very, very low. So we're trying to maximize technology through our website that um, are currently www.afrimash.com. It's an e-commerce space where people have access to all, everything that could actually help them make farming convenient. And we value prioritization, excellence, we believe in speed because for you to run an e-commerce space, we have to actually um, provide speed to people that want to um, engage with the platform. And also we, we have values that have to do with self-leadership. And uh, as a company, we believe that any individual that is innovative and also has continuous improvement can make impact in the world at large. So um, basically what we give our customers is a great um, shopping experience, farmers around the world, shopping experience. And we've been able to do that um, through um, great selection of variety of products on the site, convenient shopping, convenient delivery of um, systems. That's our supply chain using the, um, through the logistics department. We have good deals and affordable deals through our importers and also the manufacturers of these inputs. And then easy and safe payments. There's on the platform we have um, easy and safe payments we, through which um, through our partnership with Paystack, where they can pay. You don't have to go through the whole stress of um, of going to the bank and trying to deal with cash. So there's room for um, paying via bank transfer or um, using your card. So it's it's also it's just trying as much as possible to ensure that farmers don't get stressed. They don't have any challenge any challenges in um, in farming and um, so far we have won 50 plus um no that we have uh, over 300 approved sellers those on the platform that we have currently and for for um for the customers we have over 70,000 that are registered on our platform currently and uh, about I think uh, 6,000 plus have actually bought and have been engaging with us the others are just users probably getting information through our blog posts, probably having access to our trainings and uh, other partnership opportunities that we, we avail them. So um, we, we, we are looking forward to ways and um, uh, opportunities that will enable us to actually be able to ensure that our goal of farming, um, convenient farming is rich without Without our goal being met, I feel there's going to be a lot that has, has to be done in, in the agricultural industry. So, and we can't overlook most of our competitors and those people that we feel like they are of um, importance to us. So anyone that actually has to offer anything that is in line with technology or um, partnership manufacturing uh, platforms that sell both physical and uh, the middlemen, they are important to us. So everything we do, we ensure that our computers, we maximize them well and we partner with them so that we're also able to, to reach our goals. So um, for today, I, I think um, our discussion with, um, with, um, 
with Mrs. Cynthia so far has been on the way we can maximize this current lead project to ensure that we we meet our goal as a company. We have a number of goals for the year 2021 that um, wraps around uh, getting access to fund, wraps around um, improving uh, uh, our tax force, that's those that are in the, on the team, ensuring that they are trained. We already started training programs for everyone since um, January. We also have a goal of ensuring that we, we, we are able to deliver to all the states in Nigeria. And so far we've delivered to 20, um, 32 states in Nigeria conveniently. And we've also been shipping outside Nigeria to neighboring states like Cameroon, Ghana, and uh, um, I think uh, Nigeria also. Yeah. So um, moving to, over to today's presentation, uh, the I think I can move over now, right? Or maybe you have questions for me. I'll take the questions before I start this slide. Um, I think you can finish up the presentation, then um, we can take questions at the end. Okay, thank you very much. So as as a team, we have Idea Bank in the company, and on our Idea Bank, we store different uh, solutions and innovative ideas that would help farmers in the long run and are actually related to what we do as a company. And um, our main goal still remains making con um, agriculture convenient for everyone. So um, to the next slide. Okay, so we actually submitted these two requests when we got um, a notification on this um, program. And uh, we screened what we had in the idea bank. And we believe that if it had to do with research and things that had to do with suggestions on um, solutions, that these are the two things that fit in properly based on prioritization and um, the, the, the value that the program is going to offer us. So uh, the first one has to do with digital marketing channels for reaching farmers. We we have um, various channels we currently maximize. And uh, so far we've been able to cover emails and we've been able to cover um, push notifications, but these are people that are online. And we, we also did a little research back then and we found out that farmers are also, they also make use of radio a lot. But we want to see how we can have a platform or the best set of platforms. We can have an in-depth understanding of those set of platforms that exist and how we can actually use them to reach these farmers. Because there's SMS, there's radio, there's TV. We have various channels, even the, um, the media that has to do with newspapers and the like. So we want the best platform to help us reach these farmers so that they are aware of the services we offer as a company, they are aware of our training, they are aware of opportunities they can actually um, take advantage of to ensure that they, um, they have profitable farming. And then two, um, potential um, funding opportunities, grant and equity. We need this a lot. And we've not, we, for the past, I think um, two to three years, we didn't really focus on it because we're focusing on building a structure, a strong team, company policy, we're trying to build a, a system that would work smoothly and would actually attract investors and attract um, um, funders to the company. And we've been able to do that to a large extent. So now we want to see um, how we can get potential um, opportunities. So um, the next slide. So yes, first, first goal, um, best digital um, channels for reaching farmers in various states in Nigeria and how they complement each other. I think I actually um, went in depth into this already. So just a, the best platforms majorly, the best channels which we reach farmers, whether it has to do with training, whether it has to do with um, access to funds, whether it has to do with them having access to farm inputs, we have, we have a lot of them in rural areas. We have a lot of community of farmers and we want to know what best way we can actually maximize them and how they complement each other. Then um, to the next slide. Thank you. So why we actually um, chose this particular goal is because one, we believe that the major challenges farmers face, number one is access to funds and um, access to inputs. Now, 
this is based on experience of the founder that's um the the co-founder and ceo of afmash company limited he once had a farm and then he had to shut down after about three years because there was asset there was limited access to to farm infuse whenever he needed feed he had to start going round round travel travel all around and then he and in the end he loses bed as a result as a result of not having access to feed or access to vaccination to treat them on time when there's an outbreak so this actually prompted the idea of having a universal platform that can give farmers access to those farm infuse they need whenever and um as fast as possible so that they can actually ensure that they, they have profitable um profitable yields in whatever they are doing so yes it's very important to us that's why we believe that we need the right channel to get across to these farmers then um veterinary services and consultation we also have technical support team that help farmers if there's an outbreak if there's an issue with their other or their livestock on the farm there's an outbreak of pest or whatever um diseases that the um uh, the livestock might have, we have a technical support team that attends to such. So we want farmers to be able to have access to us whenever this is needed. So the, we need updates on the right channels, training, mentorship, and expatriate. Yes, very important to us also as a company. We've been having a series of training, and um, well, the turn up has not been as high as we wanted it to be, but so far. We believe that we've been able to make a lot of impact through our training and had a lot of um, positive feedback on that. So, and the last one is uptaking and right market for farmers. Now, farmers also, they need the right market. They need this um, network to uptake and to reach people that will actually buy into their, they don't, most of them don't expand because they believe that it's the middlemen are the ones that benefit, the middlemen are the ones that get um most of the uh the profits of production so we want to give them that access and what channel to actually maximize is also important to us thank you so the next slide all right then the second goal potential funding opportunities grants and equities basically for afrimash as a company as well and how to attract them apply and get um, investment. Yeah, I, I think I also um, dug into this at the beginning. So basically as a company, we, we've, we've not focused on this and we don't even know, <laughs> we don't think we know how to focus on it. We don't think we have that um, experience. So it's, it's a very good opportunity for us. That's why this program is very important to us. We really want to know how, we want to know what we need to do right, how what we've done, and if it's enough, or we need to do more to actually get the right people to to actually invest in us. And the next slide is going to tell us why we actually need um, this goal to be achieved. Now, um, we're interested in these opportunities because we want to offer um, premium values to customers, especially farmers. We want to give them the quality and affordable um, farm resources they need to ensure that they maximize profits. And this can be done if we can have, we don't have enough funds to be able to um, give them those quality imputer materials because we need to do a lot of partnerships we've not been able to cover as a result of funding, especially partnerships that have to do with manufacturers and importers of some unique um innovative um, products that is going to really help the farmers then um structures and systems for convenient farming so we have a lot of innovative um, ideas and technologies that will help farmers whether it has to do with apps um apps they can use to maximize farming or um some equipment that we feel that we can actually give to them and we've not been able to do that as a result of um lack of access to funds then training farmers we we believe in training. We, we always have a free monthly training for farmers on at least one topic every month. So we want to offer such training as much as possible. And sometimes these trainers, they are really experienced, especially the ones that, that are professionals, don't want to do it for free. So we get to cover the cost of everything, running all the trainings to ensure that we make impacts and farmers actually get the full benefit. So we want to be able to assess funds to help us reach more farmers, train more farmers and to help them in the long run. Then experience and skills team. We have a team 
but we believe that we need more experienced individuals. We have a big goal. We have so much to do as a company, but if we don't have the right people, which most times are experienced and are experts, because we can't afford them, then it's going to be a major um, challenge for us as a company. So yes, that we need funding for that also. So um, I think, uh, okay, next slide. I think I'm almost done. All right, this, this is the last slide. So we believe in teamwork and, and partnership. We do that a lot. We, we, we pursue as much as we could and we ensure that this also, this partnership also benefits us. So, and we believe that this is an incredible project and we know that it's going to be of great um, benefit to Afrimash as a company. Yeah, thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you, Linda. That was um, goodness. I mean, that was well comprehensive. Um, thank you for sharing. Do anyone have a question? So in a nutshell, the goal is to um, um, first, number one, help them identify access, like funding opportunities, either grants or equity. And then um, the second one is to help more like marketing, right? Trying to identify channels for marketing to reach customers. Um, so based on those two overall goals, I think the other part of it is well explained and well detailed. So do anybody have a question as, as regards to that um, so that we could have our next partner come on? Any question? Okay, so if we do not have, um, I think I would like to give them the chance to, um, or do you, like, do you have any other thing? Ayo, do you have anything to say before you leave? Um, yeah, uh, Cynthia, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good yeah, I'm so sorry that um, I came in a bit late. I couldn't work from the office, so I couldn't predict my internet. But um, I have better internet now. Thank you for the presentation, goodness. So um, basically, uh, I just would like to add uh, the fact that um, the, this project is very uh, paramount. To, so my name is Ayo, your daughter. I'm co-founder and CEO of Afrimash. Um, and the two projects that goodness talked about are very important to us right now, especially at the stage that the business is in. Um, the business right now wants to expand. And uh, for us to expand, we need two things. We need the right channels to reach the customers, as well as um, funding for us to fund those channels that we want to do and to fund all the structures that we need to, to, to put in place. So it would be very um, exciting to have you guys work on our project and to work together with you guys here. I, I believe that um, whatever we discover in our research eventually, is not going to be something that is, is just um, peculiar to Afrimash. It's going to be something that even for the, the rest of your career, it should be very useful, very useful information in your hand. So I think it's, it's something that you should be excited to work about. And we are really excited to work with you. Um, goodness, you don't mention that already we have an internship program in place. So what that means is that um, we, we know how to work with you and the team that you'll be working with also, um, uh, these are, these are, if you do your research, you go online, we did our fifth anniversary last year and we have uh, videos of our team members talked online. You see it on our YouTube page and our Facebook page. You'll be working with very, very intelligent set of people. I mean, they are the best people that you ever want to work with at this stage of your career. So, <laughs> since I smiled, <laughs> yes, like you know, just, you should go and see, you should go and see those, those videos. You will know that this is a set of people that you should work with. So I encourage you to think through uh, what we have to do. Um, I look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. much, Cynthia. So grateful. So um, I think they'll reach out to you once we identify the people who will be working on what project. So they'll reach out by next week to introduce themselves and then we could kick off from there. So this might require also having, maybe goodness might have an additional meeting with them and then this might also require them doing interviews if they need to know more about the organization or some of these channels that were already existing before, what was working, what was not working, and then or even uh, speaking to some of the clients to know what they use already. And yeah, 
So, so many things that has to do with research and so we want you to give the support as much as possible and also like um also guide them but then i think they'll be providing update but not regularly so the project span within two months so as much as they can do based on some of them already have some um stuff going on so we want to make it very flexible very flexible and also not demanding on you that's that's fine we're excited about everything. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you for you. this opportunity. Thank you so much, Ayo. Take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you. Goodness. Have a wonderful day. Thank wonderful you. weekend. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> so we have bye, everybody. So we have Linda right now. Um Linda is here with us. Linda is from um Linda is from Shango Payments. Um, I would like Linda to take the floor. So Linda, just a quick introduction, tell us about the company and also tell us about the um, project goals like expectation. And then if there's any question after that, we would ask them to ask you. Over to you, Linda. Okay, hi everyone. Um, good afternoon. Sorry, I've been struggling with my video. I wanted to turn it on, but I don't, I don't know what's happening to my laptop settings. No problem, you could, could just speak. I can continue. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Cynthia. So my name is Linda Ahaniko. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Shago Payments Limited. And um, we are really um, glad that we are part of this project. Um, I think it's one of its kind. And thank you, Cynthia, for the opportunity once again. So I'll just go straight to what Shago Payments is all about. So Shago Payments is um, a fintech company. We retail digital products and services. Um, we have a technology platform that facilitates like um, online payments, such as bill payments. You can buy your airtime, um, recharge your line. You can pay your electricity bill. You can um, transfer your transfer funds and also withdraw funds. You can open an account with the platform because we partner with banks as well. So these are just um, part of the products of Shago Payments Limited. We also have um, 25 billers connected directly to our platform. We have, um, when I say billers, sorry, I mean products actually, 25 products so on our platform. And then we also have, um, 15 business to business people connected to us that are reselling from Shago Payments. So what is our vision? Our vision is to be an e-market space that creates value for all. And by all, we mean our agents because we, we have um, our direct customers actually agents. And these agents um, are serve as our pay points across different um, distribution points for Shago payments. So we also have the merchants. The merchants, uh, we call them the people that um, own kiosk shop owners, but they want to also become agents and they want to sell through our e-commerce platform um, because Shago has an e-commerce platform. So they want to sell through and list their products on our e-commerce platform. So that is uh, another segment of our customers. So we have the corporate entities that I mentioned who are the B2Bs that resell our products and services. Then we have individuals. So aside going to an agent, you can decide to pay your bills by yourself on your phone once you download our application. So Shago is focused on reaching the unbanked, the underserved, and financially excluded market. Um, like I said earlier, our products is more of um, financial um, services in terms of paying the paying bills, collections, on-demand services. Our e-commerce platform is up, but we've not launched it fully, but it's part of our, our um, products that are in the pipeline. So that is like a brief summary of what Shago does. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. I noticed I have only 15 minutes, so I felt I should make it very brief. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Um, so what exactly is the, like um, some, one of, some of the challenges that Shago um is looking to solve in terms of like for this project like what's what's what do you have in mind for will be your project goal like what would you like at the end of the project for the team to work on 
Okay, so um, Shago is a, is a young company. We started operations in January 2020 and we are growing really fast. So we would, at this point, we are at the verge of expanding and, um, and also raising um, capital, like more, more funds. So we would want someone to help us, like I mentioned on the form that I filled, operational challenges and funding is the major things that we are looking at now. Um, I wouldn't say that our operations are not, um, are not smooth, you know. We, we already have everything figured out in a way, but we've always believed in, um, in continuous improvement. So we feel as we expand, we would need people to help us look at our existing operations and confirm if that's what we have at the moment will be able to sustain us as we expand. And we also want um, people to do some research and help us out with um, maybe organizations, um, things that we can do in terms of funding and getting, attracting venture capitals that will fund or that we invest rather in Shago payments. So for us, that will be the major areas that we'll be looking at. Okay, thank you very much. That's very clear, no? Um, do anyone else have a question as regards to that? Anybody? Any comments? Okay, so if none, um, I think the only thing left would be that um, so right now we would have them, so we haven't assigned or matched any um, candidates or individual to projects. Um, so mm -hmm. since after listening to this, so what we want to do is to um, take our time and then see those, first of all, maybe their areas of interest and then use that to pair some teams. So um, by next week, a team might be introduced to you and those, those people who will be working with you um, would now have maybe further conversation with you. And if there are more information, like you need to provide them support so that they have better insights to the company, what the company does, and how they could research for opportunities that align with the company's objectives or services. Um, so you'll be able to be their go-to person to provide them with such um, information necessary. Then if there's any other thing you want them to do along the way, you can also pass that to them. And then we'll be having like some project supervisor um, or a particular key person who will be communicating, which will serve as a project manager. And then they also have like a mentor supporting them as well um, remotely. Um, so um, that being said, I think from next week, we would take it up from there and then you get to communicate directly with them. If there's anything, feel free to reach out to me or to um, David, our uh, communications lead. Okay. Um, okay, so um, I would like to add that um, this whoever that will be assigned to us actually would have um, a rewarding um, oh, nice. moment, you know, with us because we are more like a team of young people. Um, everybody there is very young. We are very flexible and dynamic in terms of execution. We always pride ourselves in the way we execute because I think that's one of the things, that's one of the, the things that make us stand out as an organization. So um, anyone that comes to join us would really have a, a rewarding um, stay with us. And I want to assure the person that we have, we have different arms of the, in the organization and the person would have the opportunity to explore besides uh, the project um, areas that we want them to focus on, but they have the opportunity to understand in details what Shago does and um, different areas that they feel like, oh, okay, they can also learn, you know, in, as in addition to what they already know. So it's going to be a very rewarding um, period for you. Thank you so much, Linda. That's wonderful and so nice of you. Um, so what another thing I want to add to that as well would be for, um, I forgot to mention that, you know, the timeline for the project will be now to end of April. 
and um, just for this particular one. And afterwards, we could, and it's so this first, so this one is like remotely. Um, when they get to work with the team that will be assigned to them. But afterwards, so because we are actually encouraging partners who would be willing to take interns or people maybe want to um, employ from this process um, later on based on your assessment of the work or see if you find value in it. Um, so you could also do that maybe after the project timeline. So we'll have a final project presentation at the end of April. I think we'll send you an invite as well for that. Um, where they would present like some of their recommendations, findings based on the research, then every of the project documents that, that was created in the course of research would also be handed over to the company. And then you could choose to um, decide if you want to implement it internally, or you would like to engage one or two of them to work with you in implementation as well. So I just thought mm -hmm. I should let you know that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, do anybody have a question again? Let me just ask one more before Linda leaves us. Any comments on the chat? No. Okay, then that's fine. So Linda, thank you. You're free to um, to leave us. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Take sure. care. I'll reach out to you later. Bye. Okay, so um, thank you everyone. Um, so tell me a little bit about how you feel about this project and what you think so far based on, um, based on the presentation, based on the partners project and the goals. Please don't be silent. I need you to communicate, okay? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, who is speaking? Hello. It's me, please, Emma Okui, Emmanuel. Hello? Hello? Emmanuel. Okay, go ahead. Permit me to attend to the first time. Can I go on, please? Yeah, let's go on. Yes, go on. Okay, thank you very much. I'm very excited about the program that is being issued by me, Inspire Africa. And because it's, it really goes a long way in serving its purpose in the sense that it's not just a form of a volunteering opportunity, but it's really Um, provide graduates with the opportunity to get the great side of schools, which should go a long way in um, picking up their knowledge about how the college works, well, even before they're being employed formally than an organization. So it's a welcome development and, and, and a fantastic initiative. And specifically, it will help the graduates or the students understand where their strength lies as well as their areas of improvement so that they can do something about it and become better in the future. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. You're, Thank ab you. Thank you're you. very correct. Yeah, um, very correct. Okay. I can hear myself echo. <laughs> so I think Emily posted something in the chat said, I believe that this project will educate and connect most of us to opportunities beyond our imagination. Correct, correct. I believe so too. Thank you, Emily, for that. Um, okay, so um, that being said, I think in the summary so that we could round up, um, I would like us to first take note of some of the things that we'll be working with. Um, maybe I will just share a couple of stuff. One quick second, let me open my screen. So um, please, if we, we, we shared a Slack group, I don't know if you guys have seen that group. Uh, if there are some of you who are still here to join, we really encourage you to join. Um, 
the essence of it is because most organizations actually use Slack to work. So you might want to learn how to do that corporately. And then inside the group, we could create Slack channels. So when we pair you into teams, we will create some channels with you and your team where you drive conversation so that um, we ourselves and mentors could also be in that team. And in case of any help or challenges, we could help pass comments as well to support what you're doing. Then um, I think I will just briefly introduce some documents that will be shared with you that would help you guide you through in terms of how you manage the project. Then lastly would be like, um, um, I think basically picking a, a project. So first, maybe while I'm trying to share that document, I'm going to post on the chat right now, the link to the Doodle poll. So you, you can pick, select, we have three projects that are represented. I mentioned Shaka, Shaka is not here, but it's also part of it. So there are four in total. And we would pair, I think we have six fellows in total. So we have like three part, three part team and you'll be paired to two projects per team. So we have two teams, three people in, in a team and two projects um, per that team. They will also have two mentors per team based on the two different projects. So for now, click on that link. I want you to go to the Doodle poll and pick um at least to click on just look for two major projects of your interest i mean three sorry not two pick three because just in case some people we have more people in a particular area we will now move the other ones so we can resort it and then move the other ones to their third choice so do that now um if you haven't done so so pick at least three then I'll just show you this quickly. Um, and then if you are done, you can take a look at my screen. You can take a look at my screen. Um, so in, in this, we would, once we assign your projects to you, the companies to you, you will get some documents that will carry this. So if it's Afrimash, if it's needs micro credit, if it's Shango pay, most of you will be working remotely um, using like the Google Suites. And then, um, and inside of it, you will get to see, you get to have like maybe the company logo, the project documents, and then sample projects of like something that, we, that was done for Inspire Africa. So sample method, how it was communicated, what, what was done, the report system, project um, charter, how it was communicated and all of those things. So you can look through it if you don't, if you're not sure what you're supposed to do for your so and just um, get insights on like, oh, how to go about yours. And then we may also share some other resources too that have been done in the past for Inspire Africa that you might likely, that may li likely be beneficial to you in this project. So yeah, so the first thing in your tax, your project supervisor Ebenezer will guide you through this. And um, your first thing in your tax will be to draft the project proposal. So the proposal is based on filling, just filling the simple form. It's already been provided by the company. Um, we have a link, they the fill the form. So you're just picking up the information from that form and filling it up in this document, which we would give you access to. Then afterwards, you would complete a project charter. So this project charter, like what I showed you first from Inspire Africa, is to, you see like completing the overall goal the project based on what the partner said, drafting the project background, um, sub goals, just like when the, the AfriMatch presenter, they have the main two main goals, but they have sub goals and deliverables for those goals. So you have to brainstorm with your team to come up with this um, initiation, project planning, research analysis, like different things. So you work with your team to um, formulate this and bring it up. So when you are done creating this, you will now send it to, you will now send it to the, com the project, um, that's the contractor, the person in charge that you'll be communicating with. 
So the person will review and approve if there's any changes the person would like to make. Um, she would recommend those changes. You make it again. And then once that is done, you request that he or she signs the document and then we'll officially kickstart it once that document has been signed. So this project, project charter should be signed by the project contractor before we proceed on implementation. Okay, so then you have like the project management schedule, which includes like a tax and timeline where you, know, you list out some of the tax just to organize your work, list out some of the tasks you have to do based on project. You can now delegate and put names of people who will do that. Um, so one thing you are going to do once you're assigned to a team is to pick a project manager. So the project manager will be the main person driving conversations, um, documenting these things, doing all sorts of things, organizing the meetings for you guys, delegating and all those things. So you pick a project manager and make sure to fill in the titles, the roles, and then any tasks you have here, just assign the project, um, who is it, and then the deadline for that task. When it's done, just click on this as done, just to keep track of your project. So we have two type of tools for that. We have this one, and then we have another more complex one. So it depends on what is easy for you to and your team. So you can pull down the project yeah, when you want to start it, the end time, who is responsible, who, who do you want to collaborate with? And then you can use a color code, something to mark or highlight the timeline where this should be done. So, so that's it about the project schedule. And then we would have a bi-weekly report system. So once in two weeks where you get to send us like a, you send that to your project supervisor, you send us a report update on what you're working on so maybe like um, um, the activities you have done for the past two weeks, um, what are your next plan activities, what are the challenges you are facing and all of that. So um, you also send it to your project supervisor and, and also copying the project contractor as well. Then at the end of the project, at the end, we would want you to do this. So I think I forgot something. In this part, this please take note of this project tax. In this part, right here, if you scroll down in this sheet, you see other type, other tabs in the sheet. This place, you need to edit the name. So change it to your different names, different team members. Um, this is to help keep track on time of how much hours you spent on this project task. Like, so we want to be able to assess the quality of time put in it and work and um, and see how we can, um, what they call it, like use it to measure impact, use it to measure the amount. If we are to, if we are to actually pay for this, how many hours would be, it would be, would have been spent and how we could measure that for subsequent one or evaluate like values we need to place on that. So at the end of it, you need to keep track of this consistently so that um, each time you, you're working on anything that has to do with the project, because at the end of it, we are going to collate all these things. We'd like you to collate them by putting the project, who is responsible, the names, maybe your like names of the team. And then we would have like, um, maybe assign that those, those hours spent, we just assign a, a figure or something like that to it. Um, if it was to be paid for, how much would it have cost? to actually execute it. So it's more like a consulting kind of role, but it's not like they're going to pay you, um, but we're trying to find a way to measure stuff. So, and then you will have your team contact information in your folder as well, where we would like you to fill this. So yeah, it should be like project mentor name, um, name project supervisor, project manager, and any other project team members. and country, emails, and number. Um, yeah, so that's exactly what you will have. So let me give you an example of some of the things that was done for Inspire Africa. So, and at the end of the program, you're going to implement, to present, have a presentation. So um, we had a couple of people, so you can see is a project manager who worked on Inspire Africa on called Zaria Ayitoba, like an international candidate. And you see 
some of the documents that um, were worked on. We had recommendations for improvement. They had reports. So you, you will need to write reports, marketing strategy, partners and sponsors. So they worked on our marketing strategy for us, worked on partners and sponsors, just like AfriMatch is asking for. So it's very similar to the goal. We look for platform for online education, which is for our own presentation for improvement. So like so many recommendations, um, well detailed, a well detailed report was done on that project. And when it came to recommendation and all those documents will be shared with the partners. And um, then there was a final project document that had all of this we asked for weekly reports, cost resources, um, as a two summary presentation, press release. So we shared this information with you. Um, you will not have edit access, it will just be like view access, but please don't copy it. Just use it as a resource to guide you in, in when, what you'll be doing and make sure that you organize your folder diligently, properly. That will be easy for your um, um, projects contractor to, to read or to view and understand. And at the end of it, we transfer ownership to the, the project partner. So yeah, um, any question as regards to this um, before we close for today? Any question, have you all filled the, that's for the fellows. I mean, have you all clicked, filled the Doodle form, the Doodle link? Yeah, Basir has done. Emily, okay, yes, Emily has done as well. Brian, good. Is it the data we fill in? Pardon? Is it the data under the Just under click the Doodle Oh, You need to click on it and pick a, a, a just click on at least three projects. So I think on that date, you see the the different project name. You see NEAT microcredit, you see Shaka, you see um, Afrimatch. So click on the ones of your interest. I want you to pick at least at least three. Are you seeing the chat? Okay, maybe I should share my screen. Um, let me share my screen. Hold on. Please zoom in. Let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Can you see this? Yes. Yeah, so this is, if you see this, this is neat microcredit. If you see this is Shango Pay. This is Afrimatch, this is Shaka. So you need to pick, okay, okay. so you put your name here, put your name here and pick the ones you want. You understand? At least three. It could be this okay. three, it could be this okay. three. Yeah. Yes, it could be, yeah, pick at least okay. three. Then when you're done, you, saw, you, you um, I think should enter something right down, so that'll be all. Okay, um, I think we'll call this, we have to end it now, so already two o'clock. Um, oh, sorry, three. <laughs> oh my God. So we have to end this now. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys for your time. Um, so we'll be reaching out to you with more details once, and then, um, um, and also introduce you to your team. Then I would like that you schedule a meeting with your team. You pick a project, um, a project manager for your team, and then we would also introduce you to your mentor. So Ebenezer will take it up from next week in terms of communication. Anything you need, please reach out to him directly. Yes, and that's how we would handle it. So thank you. I hope you guys are excited about this as I am. <laughs> Yes. Okay, good. Okay, good. Have a lovely weekend. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you. Bye. You too. Bye.
Benisa and um, David, is David here? Ooh. Benisa, David, yeah, Loki, Anna. Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm you. Yeah, I'm you still... can just wait behind. No, oh, you're yeah. free to leave. I'll be sure you're also free to leave. Mm. Um, let me just stop the recording.